Well, one of the projects I got going on is this right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's right here. I took the cover off of there because I'm trying to figure out where I can put my motor horn. Not where I had it before because it wasn't a good area. Um, the clearance wasn't enough and it caused a dent on my fender when I hit a pothole. Um, probably the pothole was probably like 12 inches deep or something. Just a little hole in the parking lot. Um, but this is what I've been trying to do guys. And let me get out of the rain here. Woo! Let me set this up here. Out of the rain here in the garage a little bit. Um, to show you guys what I'm doing. Well, this is the project. So here's the bracket that came off that side of that Indian Challenger. Uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. And of course you got the compressor and you got the horn and the back of the horn. Um, so what I decided to do, like, like all the Harleys um, and other motorcycles, a lot of them put it right on the side, you know, where their their air cleaner was. And that makes a lot of sense. There's brackets back there. There's something you can actually bolt the motor horn on. So what I ended up doing, I made a model of my side cover, if you guys can see it. Um, this side cover, cut it out of a cardboard box. Well, I figure if I put the horn through it, I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to engineer this whole thing. Or just cut some slits right in here like this where this cover will go. And the cover I'm talking about, oh, where's the cover now? Uh, let me get a, grab it, guys. So the cover. This is the cover here. So if I could get this, I probably have to cut this down in there where the horn can sit in there just like this right on top of that bracket let me show you guys go back out in the rain here of course I'm not censoring anything guys this is raw Put this up here. Put some legs down here. There we go, guys. Okay. So, if you guys can see this bracket right here, what I'm thinking about, if this can set just like that, and then I can have a little bracket there, they can actually hold it on and then on the side I could have it just like this so what I'm looking at is if I put it like this right here but it'll be further in because I was thinking you know if I can lay it on the top of this once it's here but it's just not enough clearance so what I'm thinking is if I lay it like right here it's out of the way and see these these allen bolts right here that's not a problem because what happens is yeah this sets in there just like this but I think there's enough clearance there if I put this right in there and get longer allen that can tighten it up and then as well what I was thinking about um, the back end hold on a second put this down here everything's getting wet here um, so what I'm thinking is putting the compressor right next to it on that frame there so it would actually look just like this or the bracket that comes out I can mount it on the bracket but I don't want to cover up the engine I love the way the look engine looks so if I can actually 
put this up here just like this, which is just one big bolt. So it's drilling a hole there, mounting this right here, just like this. And of course, this will attach to the back of the mortar horn, just like that. And I believe, you know, if it's kind of loose, I can always just put a little bracket, drill some holes, and tighten it up. Uh, and I already have the wires all wired up to the battery, and they're just sitting up there. I can run them along the backbone underneath the tank, coil them right, right to the compressor, and it'll be all right here. So that's one of my projects. I'm trying to get this done prior to going to on my next trip. So I'm planning maybe about uh, second week or the third week, or maybe even the last week of August traveling up the coast. So if any of you guys are out there riding, uh, maybe we can get together somewhere at a pub or something, get some pizza, beer, all that fun stuff. Um, but I'm still planning it. I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. And I'm trying to open up a Patreon um, site. That way we can email each other, you know, and stuff like that and maybe help support my channel where I can actually do some of these things that I really, really want to do. Because um, that's coming... That's kind of putting a hinder to a lot of the stuff that I'm doing right now, and it is hard. Let me wipe this lens here. There we go. Can you guys see better now? Saw a big water drop there. Um, anyway, that's my project there. Um, hopefully, I get this done uh, with, with, within the next two weeks. You know, hopefully. Um, so, for now, hope you like this video. If you guys got any ideas or comments or what I'm going to come into um, some problems or issues with it. I don't see it right now. And, you know, by cutting this cover, it's not a big deal for me because if I ever want it back to stock, I just buy another cover. I, I believe they're not very expensive. I think I found them online about 10 bucks or something like this. Um, my first idea was to get this a mold made. Um, but then again, that's running into a lot of costs, which I don't have. So, I might as well just burn this cover and cut into it and I already have it, right? And see what I can do because I definitely want a lot of horns and this mortar horn sounds awesome. Um, I did think about putting it in a saddlebag, underneath the saddlebag, um, or straight up and down next to the, but it's just removing too many other factory bolts that are torqued down um, that are allowing the framing of the uh, the fairing and stuff like that. I don't want to touch none of that stuff. Um, right here, I'm not touching anything. It's not going to affect uh, the ability to remove some bolts that might hinder the bike somehow, which I don't want to do. This won't hinder anything besides just cutting a little bit of that. Um, cutting into this right here. So, not a big deal for me. So, hopefully that will work out. Like I said, make sure you... Um, Give me some feedback on it. I'd like to hear your feedback. Maybe it a uh, different idea that will help me out, maybe. Um, but I'm going to get out of this rain here. So, like always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And in the future, I'll be having a Patreon site. Um, but I'll link that into um, um, YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. So, hopefully I'll get this all set up. And... Before I take off on my trip, I did get thumbs up from my wife. She said it's okay. Um, so, you know, got to do it, right? I'm not getting any younger. And that's one of my things I want to really, really do. So, anyway, hope you guys like this. Again, um, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to get out of this rain and um, I'm going to face inside the house. So, remember, like always, face the road. Face out. And my cat usually looks out the window here every time I come out of the garage. And, uh, maybe I'll put him on YouTube with me. Uh, you guys will love him. He's, he thinks he's a dog, by the way. Uh, wakes me up every morning, though, just because he doesn't want me sleeping anymore. Just like a dog, right? Um, well, as promised, here's the cat. Look at him. What's up, Haji? What you doing, buddy? Huh? What you doing? Yeah, it's me. Say hi. Say hi. My name is Haji. 
I love my dad. I like biting him sometimes. Yeah. Oh, he's probably... Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? Say hi, Haji. Say hi. Oh, there he goes. He's going to bite on me. He likes, he likes to clinch on me. That's because he loves his daddy. Okay, guys. There's the cat. Yeah, keep cleaning yourself. <laughs>